Hey everybody! Well, as you can see, this is going to be a little bit different video. We are hanging out in the pool today and we are going to take you guys to one of our favorite restaurants in Loretto, Alma de Sur. And it is really good. And then we're going to hang out here at the pool at Pufferfish Villa, so you aren't going to want to miss it. It isn't all fun and games. There's always work for the pool boy to do. Well, we are here today at Alma de Sur, and this is Southern Soul Food Cooking here yeah. in Loretto. Uh, Alma de Sur means heart of, or the soul of the South in Espanol, mm -hmm. and they have some really good food here. We've been here a couple times, and mm -hmm. it's been fantastic. So yes. today, I am trying something I've never tried before and it is the chicken and waffles and yeah. uh that's kind of like i've always wanted to try it so we're going to try it now here in loretto and what did you get mom's meatloaf mom's meatloaf so. mac and cheese and mashed potatoes and gravy oh gracias oh that's beautiful <laughs> It's <laughs> just grasses. Toast. Toast. So we got, you got the signature margarita, uh -huh. and I got the blue mezcal lemonade, which is really yummy. And. To Loretto. I took some pictures of the menu here so you can see what's on it. We've had several of these things. Chicken pot pie, mom's meatloaf, really good. Southern fried fish, cornmeal batter, beef short ribs with gravy. Mm. <laughs> the Kentucky hot brown, which is a like an open face. A uh, turkey sandwich with gravy on it. Uh -huh. It was really good. That's what yeah. I had last time. Yeah. yeah. Really Country fried steak, if you're into that. Uh -huh. They've got an almost cheeseburger and a barbecue cheeseburger, a fried chicken burger, uh -huh. a pulled pork uh, poteen, and then uh, that has brown gravy on it too, and cheese sauce. Smoked chicken sandwich and pulled pork sandwich. I've had that, and it's really good. Uh, beet salad and Caesar salad and they have the fried chicken and waffles which is what I'm getting and then on the other side uh, you know they've got some appetizers like shrimp cocktails smoked fish dip that actually sounds good but if I ate that I would never be able to eat my meal because they give you big portions here huge portions and they have beignets for dessert mm. last time they were out so hopefully this time we can yes and then uh, they have some specialty cocktails. They have a New Orleans Sazerac. Saz I should know what that is, but I don't. Uh, the classic Alma Margarita, which is Hope Got. Dry Martini, Ploma Rosa. The Blue Mezcal Lemonade, which is what I got. And Blackberry Mojito. So there's a lot of options here at Alma de Serra, for sure. So 
Here is our food. So I got the chicken and waffles with maple syrup and Esperanza. I got the mama's meatloaf with mashed potatoes and mac gravy and, and mac and cheese and cornbread. <laughs> Are you excited? Do I look excited? <laughs> Because of that, we had to uh, not eat all of our dinner. Yes. Our, it's, it's down there. It is very reasonable. And he is Take a box. Mm -hmm. So we've got lunch tomorrow, and we're gonna get some beignets, which are really good. Now we have the dessert. Beignets and vanilla cream. Look at them. Mm. These beignets are so good. Oh yes. my gosh. Let me get one with a lot of whip or powdered sugar on it. Look at that. Dip it in the cream. Yummy. Mm. So good. Yeah. We are having a pool day because we don't have any guests here right now today. So we're gonna take advantage. It's nice and warm. It's February and we are out Is here. Is it February? No, it's only January. Yeah. It's the end of January and we are out here in the sun. It is hot and the pool is nice and warm the perfect temperature and what do you think i'm so excited our guests rented a car and went to mulahay today so we are going to enjoy the pool i'm excited This is like the first day in probably two, three weeks that we've been in the pool. Feels so nice. Oh man, it's so nice down here mm -hmm. and warm out and the pool is warm now that we have the heater in. Much and better. What is it? What's the temperature? The pool is set mm -hmm. to 88 degrees, which is the perfect temperature. Yes. It isn't all fun and games. There's always work for the pool boy to do. So now I have to go down and take off the cover of this light because uh, I think there's a little bit of algae growing back in there. So we're gonna have to take it off and then do some scrubbing.
All right, it was just around that edge. And so, got it cleaned out. And now, we will put it back on here. I'm gonna have to have best kind of weight belt for pool repairs. You want me to sit on you? <laughs> that would probably help. <laughs> but it did. I did get it cleaned out. It was just a little bit of algae right around the inside edge of this thing. So looks pretty good now. Here, I'll take it down and good. and show you what it looks like. So building this pool area here at Pufferfish Villas was probably the best thing, the best decision we made during the whole process because this luxurious pool area with the cabanas and uh, the pool and all these private areas here really has been the most popular part of the entire property. Uh, most guests come out here almost every single day. A lot of them have spent all afternoon uh, out here at the pool just hanging out. You know, we're in January, the end of January, and our guests are still hanging out the pool all day long and really uh, enjoying it. And we get to enjoy it every once in a while too. So, you know, uh, it was definitely worth it. We kind of went back and forth between building this whole pool area and uh and, or building two more villas and not building this pool area and i think we made the right decision because this is what makes the whole pufferfish villas thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video we are going to have lots of good stuff coming up and we're going to try to get to some beaches and do some really cool adventures yes. so we're going to have that and finishing up the construction and the hidden bungalow so keep watching and never forget to live before you die